Okay, it looks like uh, we definitely have a quorum. Good evening, folks, and welcome to the uh, both the annual meeting of the Northampton Housing Authority and the February meeting, regular meeting. And um, there being a quorum, we will go ahead and uh, just so the public knows, uh, we have an annual meeting once a year at which we um, review the uh, minutes from the last annual meeting. And we have an election of the officers of the housing authority. Point and, of information. And then that is followed by the regular meeting of, uh, of for which uh, folks have the agenda and all that. And I'm gonna turn it over to the director Leeper who runs the annual meeting. Excuse me, I, I just wanted to say point of information, I'm having some computer problems, so you're gonna see me hook up again, just so you know that. Thank you, Commissioner Tarbutton. Okay, Madam Chair, I'll call the roll. Chairperson Carney. Present. Thank you. Vice Chairperson Cancel. Here. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner Richards. Commissioner Richards, you're, I can't hear you. I'm going to skip her for a moment. Commissioner Jones? Here. Thank you. Commissioner Tarbutton Springfield? Uh, yes. Thank I'm you. I'm here. Barely. Uh, yeah. Commissioner Brooks? I can't, he, he can't unmute himself. So can, are we allowed to use thumbs up and down with Mr. Brooks? He's having a hard time. You're muted, uh, Chairperson Carney. I was just noting that Commissioner Brooks had it unmuted for a split second. Um, so, uh, does he have? Do we have to have the audible uh, to note one's presence? We can see he's here. Everybody can see he's here. Uh, uh, Attorney O'Connor, can you? If a person cannot unmute themselves, yes. I would think a thumbs up is just fine for now, and I'm sure Commissioner Brooks will be diligently working at it so he can participate beyond that. So thumbs up should be just fine for now. I have a question with the can't for right now until that gets worked out. Can't you temporarily turn on the chat so he can put in yes or no in addition to that? Because you don't have a reaction. You'd have to be doing this all the time. So once you disable it, that it also includes the reactions. Commissioner Brooks, can you give us a thumbs up? Are you there? Can you give us a thumbs up? You can't hear me either. Oh, oh, okay. I think there's the thumbs up. Okay, Commissioner okay. Brooks is present. <laughs> okay, and Commissioner Richards is present as well. She just gave me a thumbs up. Okay, um, so I'll move on uh, to the next, uh, the first item of business, which is approval of the 2023 annual meeting minutes. Are there any um, additions? Sorry. Additions or changes? Uh, that need to be made to the February 27th, 2023 uh, annual meeting minutes. I'm sorry, you said the February one? February um, 27th of 2023. Okay, because I, okay, I see, unless there's something's going on, but I have January minutes and I just have January minutes. I don't have February. This is, uh, this is February. So why would we have February meeting uh, minutes? February 27th of 2023, at your annual meeting, you oh, the, annual meeting. the annual minutes from the prior year. Yeah, I didn't get that in my packet, so I'll have to not vote on what I didn't get. Oh, Commissioner Tarbutton, do you have no way of um, accessing electronically the board resources? I do, but I go away to, I go to a, a desktop computer that's not, that, that I don't have. So I, that wasn't included unless just wasn't included to me. No, I, I think that the annual minutes were um, put in the board resources. Okay, hold on. Let me see. I, I can no, but, they, but it may not have been mailed. Uh, maybe Director Lieber can tell us. Was that... Was... I, it, was part, it was part of the package that we sent. I'm not sure. I, I, I don't know. It could have been inadvertently not printed when we printed it to the property for her. Commissioner Cancel, really did you sure. get it? Because you had yours mailed as well. Uh, no, I didn't get the um, I didn't get it in paper, but I I did take the time to look into the electronic copy and on the yeah on the board resources. 
Okay. Okay. Um, so shall I, uh, does anybody have any um, edits um, or changes to the February 27th, 2023 annual meeting minutes? Okay, hearing none, um, uh, can I have a motion to approve um, the annual meeting minutes from February 27th, 2023? Motion to approve. Second. Thank you. Um, and so now I'll call the roll for approval of the 2023 annual meeting minutes. Chairperson Carney. Yes. Thank you. Vice Chairperson Cancel. Yes. Thank you. Commissioner Jones. Yes. Thank you. Commissioner Brooks. Thumbs up. Okay. <laughs> Commissioner Tarbutton Springfield. Um, I'll have to say no, because I didn't get it. And what I have here is really small to look at. So for that reason, no. Okay. Commissioner Richards. Yes. Thank you. Uh, with, um, five yays and one nay, um, it passes. Um, and I'll move on to the next item of business, which is the election of officers. May I please have a nomination from the floor for chairperson? I chair. Am I recognized? I'm, yes, I'm recognizing you, Commissioner Tarbot in Springfield. Yeah, I'd like to uh, nominate um, Vice Chair uh, Eduardo Ponce. Right. 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 You want to nominate him as chairperson? I Yes. And okay. you could, uh, he's also two people I think would be great as uh, Vice Chair. Right, there. right. Right now, I'm asking for nominations from the floor for chairperson. Okay. Um, thank you. Uh, so I have nominated um, Edgar Cancel uh, by Commissioner Tarbot in Springfield. Are there Commissioner any other Brooks had his hand up. Yep, Commissioner Brooks. Um, do you want to call me, Commissioner Brooks, and I can put you on speakerphone? Commissioner Brooks, if you'd like to log off and log back in, maybe. Yeah, I've I've sent him an unmute, so there should be a button somewhere that says yes, Mr. Brooks. I don't know if you see that. No. So maybe if he logs off and logs back in. Put him in the waiting room before and then brought him back in thinking that might help, but it doesn't look like it did. Yeah, I I would like to nominate Chairperson Carney. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Are there any other nominations from the floor for Chairperson? I think you need to ask for a second. Am I right? Or, or well, I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm asked. I've got the first. I have a nomination for Edgar Cancel, and I have a nomination for Maureen Carney. I do not have a second dime either. Oh, oh, um, maybe we skipped that part. Yeah. Oh, is there, is there a second? Uh, is there a second for uh, a nomination of Edgar Cancel as chairperson? I thought we learned from last year that uh, there's we don't need a second. Is that correct, um, Attorney O'Connor, for the nomination? I, I frankly can't remember how we resolved this issue from last year. Uh, I know in the past we've always had a second. Actually, it was in the minutes. Uh, uh, Commissioner Cassell is correct. There was a notation in the annual meeting minutes. Uh, uh, did you read that, Edgar? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So I think you clarified that um, there, there isn't a need for a second. Right. It doesn't mean that a second can't come up. Unless it was something in our bylaws, and I think the minutes show that we clarified that there is nothing in the bylaws requiring the second for the nomination. So uh, I would say that we don't need the second, but, it, you know, I mean, it doesn't hurt if someone says second. <laughs> no, okay. I asked someone else who's a, like a really institutional with this, and they were surprised that we, you were saying we had to have a second, but if you say it is done before, but... Oh, oh, no, we just clarified. We just clarified, Commissioner Tarbutton, that 
Right. Um, last year, when we looked into it, um, it was confirmed that we don't need to have a second unless it is something in our bylaws. And we don't have such an item in our bylaws. So that's correct. We don't need a second. Um, I'm wondering um, if we could do something to help Commissioner Brooks uh, get on so that he can participate. I thought it was a great idea if if, uh, if he can call Car uh, Director Leap or Director Leaper can call him so he can. Oh, here it comes. This this might work now. I'm sorry. I hope I hope I hope so. If not, um, I muted. Will... Yeah, he's okay. muted, but he's still he's still joining. So. Um, uh... Uh, let's let's hold on a sec. Commissioner Brooks, can you hear? And we can't even see. You must have the video off as well. I'm going to try to call him. Sorry. May I make a to... suggestion for him, Chair? Is there a way that he could be on if he's on a desktop that he could also use his phone? It sometimes gets a little noisy, but if he could use both of that, that way he can hear and see. And then again, I also said, why don't we uh, uh, put the reactions on so he could at least voice questions or whatever. Uh, Commissioner Bur Brooks, can you hear us? Okay. The other thing is a person can call in. There's a call in line. Yeah. Uh, is Jack here? Jack is here. Yep. Jack, um, so if a person wants to call into our meeting... Is there a phone number that they should call? There yeah. is. Give me one second and I'm yeah. going to... Commissioner Brooks, we're going to get you the phone number so that you can call into our meeting. I, I have it. It's 646-558-8656. 646-558-8656. And then he also needs to use the meeting ID. I got I I got voicemail when I called both of his phones. Yeah. Okay. And I don't know, Commissioner Brooks, can you hear me I, now? I, I could I could if you really want me to, I could run up to his apartment. I'm still at the office and I could unmute it for him. Um, okay. Well, would up folks mind if we take just a two minute res recess? I know we're right in the middle of elections. Uh, I would prefer if Commissioner Brooks can attend since this is an important meeting. Yeah. So folks don't mind taking a two minute recess for the director to unmute Commissioner Brooks's line. I, I agree. I think that's great. I think it's important that okay. all sure. board members participate. Thank so you. We, th sure. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to recommend that we just take a two minute recess. So, um, Jack, uh, I, I and uh, Attorney O'Connor, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think everybody has to go back into the waiting room um, while I do that. Correct? I, I, Jack or Tom, I don't know why we can't just I mute can't ourselves see. and and wait. Right. Can, can yeah, we just I just think that? we can suspend and leave everybody right where we are, and Kara perfect. can run out and run upstairs. Okay, perfect. Thank you. You're on the clock. See if you All can right. do it in under a minute. Thanks. Meantime, everybody <laughs> else can make their coffee or go to the bathroom or whatever you have to do. And anybody else who's in a hurry, I'm so sorry for the delay.
Recording in progress. Here, I'm going to ask to unmute as well. You might see a yes or no button. Just letting folks know that um, they're almost there. They are going to actually call into the meeting because Commissioner Brooks is having difficulty with his tablet. So uh, Director Leeper is trying to get him connected to us by phone presently. So hopefully it won't be too long. I apologize. Looks like hello. You hello, up. hello, Commissioner Brooks. I think that's you. Phone number that's me. Two zero three nine. Okay, we'll just wait for Director Leeper to run down the stairs and and get he, back to he's her. Flying down now. Okay. Okay. Great to be in, in a wheelchair doing this and not have hands at work. Yeah. Life is easy now.
Uh, yep, Commissioner Brooks, that. you may need to turn down the volume of your uh, radio or television. Right. Thanks. Turn it down. Just want to say it's awesome that Director Leeper went all the way up there. It's really cool. Appreciate that. Well, thank God they're in the same same building there. How's that? That's still too loud, Mayor Maureen. We can still hear you fine. Yes, thank you. Okay. And I assume you can hear us. Thanks. Yes, I hear you clearly. Okay, and you still do. You have access to all your materials and everything, right? I I do. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay, I'm back. Thank you, Kara. We You're don't welcome, see you, Mr. Brooks. <laughs> okay. Where were we? Okay. So I have two nominations from the floor, and where did we leave it? That we were not going to second them. That's what the I think we determined a second is not required. Okay. All right. Um, so I'll move on. Uh, may I please have a nomination from the floor for vice chairperson? Yes, I have a no, I have a yes. I, I'd like to make a nomination. <laughs> uh, I have two people in mind, so I don't know if I do both or what, but I would say it'd either be Commissioner Jim Brooks or Commissioner. A lot of experience here would be uh, Jeff Jones. So, uh, Commissioner Tarbot in Springfield, you're nominating whom? I, if, I, if I can nominate two people, one would be uh, uh, Jim Brooks. We need to have uh, tenants. Um, I, uh, I don't think you can nominate two, people. two nominations or not. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll stick with uh, Jim Brooks. Uh, uh, Commissioner Jeff Jones, you can raise your hand. Oh. Yes, Commissioner Jones. Um, just like a point of order, should we not have a vote on the chairperson position in that we have multiple people running and that might influence who gets nominated for anything else going on? I guess that's an attorney question. No, that's a good question. I think that's a very good point and I was just about to make it myself. Okay. Yeah, I think that that's that's probably correct to okay. Director Leeper. All right, so um, I have two nominations on um, the uh, table for uh, chairperson, uh, Maureen Carney and Edgar Cancel. I, I will um, call the roll and if you could just state who you're voting for so that I can um, record it, that would be great. Excuse me, we don't get to speak on it and why? We just go straight to voting. Mm. With the, I, I don't. I think that if the people who are nominated want to speak, they may. I don't think that well, the rest of the board does. Well, I, I, since I just gave them a city council meeting where you got to speak on it, uh, why you were voting for them, the person and the person nominating them. Is this not how it's done here? I, I, I'll body. leave it up to. It's okay with oh. me. If people, it's okay with me. I mean, is there any objection? to Commissioner Tarbutton um, uh, speaking at this point regarding her nomination? Thank you. Well, the reason why I would nominate uh, Eduardo Cancel, I think that he is a leader in the community. If you ever got a chance to look at his resume and the things that he's done in the community, it's almost a thing that you don't need to be written because it's just who he is. I think that he would be great. I think he's fair. I think even in cases where he's been personal attack, far better than me, is he able to let go and let God, so to speak, and let that uh, not uh, uh, interfere with his judging. And the word I'm looking for is fair, independent, transparency. Uh, that's what we need in a chair. And although he's not a resident, he's a former resident. And he's a former resident that knows a lot and has a different lived experience and viewpoint than those who are not. So I'm thinking, let's be progressive and uh, go through that. And not for nothing, I'm not putting anyone else down, but 
there have been a lot of stuff on this meeting that have just been really confusing. So he's very clarifying and clarifying. And I think we need somebody who's really up to date, know what's going on and can speak fairly. I don't think he would ever point his finger in somebody's face and say, I'm the chair and I say it this way. I don't think he's that person. I think he really does embody fairness and independence. So that's why I nominated. Thank you, Commissioner Charbot and Springfield. Are there any other comments from the floor? Okay, I'll call the roll now. Um, uh, Commissioner Carney, if you could state Edgar Cancel or Maureen Carney. Maureen Carney. And Commissioner Brooks, could you state Edgar Cancel or Maureen Carney? Maureen Carney. And Commissioner Tarbutton, could you state Edgar Cancel or Maureen Carney? Definitely Commissioner Eduardo Cancel. Thank you. And uh, Commissioner Cancel, could you state Edgar Cancel or Maureen Carney? Thank you so much, uh, Commissioner Tarbutton. Um, I will vote for uh, Commissioner Carney. And um, Commissioner Richards, uh, could you state Edgar Cancel or Maureen Carney? Uh, Maureen Carney. And Commissioner Jones, could you state Edgar Cancel or Maureen Carney? Maureen Carney. Thank you. Uh, one, two, three, four, five uh, for Maureen Carney and one for Edgardo Cancel. Um, and so the chair, um, the chairperson remains uh, Maureen Carney. Thank you. Uh, so I currently have a nomination on the floor for vice chairperson from Commissioner Tarbutton. I would uh, like to rescind that, please. And I'd like to nominate uh, vice, uh, the current vice chair for that position. Okay, are there any other nominations from the floor I for the position of I vice chairperson? Uh, Commissioner Jones. Uh, uh, I would nominate here. Commissioner Richards. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Commissioner Jones. Um, and um, are there any other nominations from the floor before I go on to... Um, let allowing people to speak. I'd like to speak. Okay, if someone, if you just raise your hand, I'll call upon you. Um, if Before like. you do, can you just ask Commissioner Brooks, could you either turn down the um, television, the radio, just the radio, yeah. or the TV? Thanks. Okay. Um, and so, Commissioner Tarbutt and Springfield, you have your hand raised. I, I do, actually. Thanks for acknowledging that. Um, I, I think that, I think that, I know neither, well, three people aren't even confirmed by the City Services Department of Guam, uh, 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 and there's been um, some concerns. My concern is, uh, if you look, I have at least six different occasions where I've seen, it looks at. And then I told him, I said. It looks, it looks as though, uh, let me just say this delicately, that people are fully alert uh, and not asleep. I've gotten some, uh, I've seen some pictures of commissioners sleeping and sometimes, you know, I know I have computer problems if you're asking me and it's a delay, but it's not because I'm snoozing. Uh, I think that, where are the residents? Where are the residents on the board? And we went through all this supposedly training and diversity and blah, 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 and we're going back to something and we're excluding a very important component of this board. So how does the board look? Does the board look more like what the tenants are? Or does the board look like more what, who people know, who are best friends? So I think that it kind of slaps the face of us trying to move forward, um, and I think, again, I'm going to say this word, we need people who are independent. Independent means you question things, you look through things, you ask, and you try to be fair, not to go along to get along, and not to try to pressure people not to. And I have seen people, and it's really distressing um, how I've been treated when I am in disagreement. And it's been, and we don't want to go back there and I think that that's to a point that we recall a service, um, a meeting with the city services, that there are some problems that we have. So I think we need to act, do an act 
as if nobody is looking because everybody is looking. Thank you, Commissioner Tarbon. Are there any other comments from the floor? Okay, and so I will call the roll. Uh, we have two nominations for vice chairperson, Edgar Cancel and Marilyn Richards. When I call your name, please tell me who you vote for. Uh, Commissioner Carney. Uh, Commissioner Richards. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner Cancel. Uh, me, myself, and I. Thank you. Um, uh, Commissioner great. Tarbutton Springfield. Uh, definitely uh, Eduardo Cancel. Thank you. Commissioner Jones. Commissioner Richards. And uh, Commissioner Richards. Commissioner Richards. Thank you. And uh, Commissioner Brooks. Commissioner Richards. Thank you. Uh, and so with one, two, three, four, uh, four for Marilyn and two for Edgardo, um, uh, Commissioner Richards becomes uh, vice chair. Once, yeah. May I please have a motion nomination for the floor for treasurer? Uh, I would like to nominate Commissioner Brooks for treasurer. Okay, thank you. And are there any I, other- I have a nomination too. Are there any other nominations from the floor for treasurer? Yes. Okay. I recognize. Yes. Uh, yes, I would like to, uh, <laughs> I'd like to nominate uh, Commissioner Eduardo. Uh, and my question is, I'm hoping none of you besides a few people went and voted on this together. It seems like it's a block. I would hope not. I know that happened when I first got on and I certainly didn't appreciate it, but I would hope that we would consider uh, the board and how it looks. So I would, uh, I really think that uh, Commissioner Consell, he's very good with numbers. He's written lots of grants and work that he's done before and he's present. And so I think that that's important. Okay, any other comments from the floor? I guess that was a question. Did any of you get together and call each other and have any conversation about this before tonight? Uh, I'm sorry, um, Commissioner Tarbutton. Um, uh, I'm asking for for uh, comments about the nomination. Um, and I'm sorry, uh, Commissioner Jones, has you have your hand raised. Please go ahead. You're, you're muted. muted. You're muted. Thank you. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, I reject the the um, the attempt at slander of myself and the board. There's not a block. There wasn't a pre meeting. There's nothing of the sort that happened. And I'm tired of listening to innuendo where uh, apparently to some people the mere suggestion of something means that it's true. It's not. And this is ridiculous. Thank you for saying that. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm only saying what I went through. And so I would hope not. I said it feels. Well, you recognize you just blurt these things out. No, I, I just said what I, I said. I'd hope that that's not the case. But you weren't, but you weren't recognized, Commissioner. Oh, Hunt. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Recognize. I'd like to speak to that uh, because it was at me. It's not an innuendo. It's just a question and a probing because it happened to me. And then it was denied. Okay. So. That's all I'm saying is above reproach. Yeah. Commissioner Tarbutton, if you could allow um, Commissioner Jones to finish before I oh, I, it you, I don't know okay. that he was finished. Okay. Thank you. Um, Commissioner Jones, were you finished? No, I'm I'm done. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Commissioner Tarbutton Springfield, uh, did you have anything more to say? No. Did you get everything that I said there? Thank you. Um, okay. So I'm going to call the roll uh, for... Um, Two nominations for the role of treasurer. Um, there's two nominations, Jim Brooks and Edgar Cancel. Um, and Commissioner Carney, could you please tell me who you vote for? You're muted. I'm sorry. So okay. Commissioner Brooks, please. Thank you. Uh, and Mr. Uh, Commissioner Brooks, who would you vote for? Jim Brooks or Edgar Cancel? Uh, me, myself, and I. Thank you. And Commissioner Jones. Commissioner Brooks. Thank you. Commissioner Cancel. Uh, I appreciate the nomination, uh, uh, but I think Commissioner Brooks has done a wonderful job and I, 
I vote for Commissioner Brooks. Thank you. Commissioner Tarbutton. I will not vote. I'll sit this one out. So you're abstaining? Yeah, now that uh, 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 Commissioner Eduardo has withdrew, I, I'll abstain on this one. Okay. Commissioner Richards. Uh, Commissioner Brooks. Thank you. Uh, five to uh, five yeas and one abstention. Um, Commissioner uh, Brooks remains treasurer. Uh, may I please have a motion to adjourn the annual meeting? Uh, no, I have a question. A, a, a question, point of information. Uh, uh, Kara, both of you and the lawyer, we were at a meeting and it said that the recording secretary, it wasn't uh, a wiggle room. That was for the board to decide. It may be the executive director. It may be. It didn't say no. it was written in stone. No, it's part of the law that the secretary is the executive director, and the mayor read that to you at our meeting with her. No, she said shall, and I spoke. Shall, 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 if, if I could chime in here, the, the statute, the law in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts says that Kara shall be the secretary. That's as absolute as you get. Can you send it that, that to me? Sure. Thanks. Okay. May I please have a motion to adjourn the annual meeting? Motion to adjourn. Uh, second. Cancel. Thank you, Commissioner Cancel. Uh, is there a second? Second. Second. Commissioner Richards. Thank you. Uh, so the annual meeting of the Northampton Housing Authority Board um, of Commissioners is adjourned officially at 6.11 p.m. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Director Leeper. And thank you, uh, uh, members of the board, mm -hmm. for the annual meeting and for the elections. I appreciate um I appreciate your electing me to stay on as chair. Um, and we're going to move into the regular meeting, the regular portion of the meeting, which begins with um, public comment. And I just want to let the public know who are here that um, we invite your comment. We, we want to hear what you have to say. We cannot respond tonight. There isn't a way we can respond to your particular concerns, especially those that aren't listed because they're not listed on the agenda. However, we do take note and you will hear from the director Leeper if these are resident related concerns that you bring up, how these are, um, <clears throat> how these concerns are met uh, at the next meeting. And there'll be a report back. Madam and, Chair, if you could um, allow me, uh, if you could call the meeting to order so I could take the roll. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, please call the roll. So we're calling it to order at 6.12 p.m. And uh, I'll show, I'll call the roll. Chairperson Carney. Present. Thank you. Vice Chairperson Richards. Uh, you're muted. You're muted. Present. Sorry. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner Cancel. Here. Thank you. Commissioner Brooks. Here. Thank you. Commissioner Jones. Here. Thank you. Commissioner Tarbutton Springfield. I am present. Thank you. Madam thank, Chair. But thank you for that. And so as is usual, um, we start with public comment, uh, which we start uh, initially with tenant comment, move on to staff comment, and then public comment. And then for those of you in the public who have the agenda in front of you, you'll see we move on to an executive director report. That is a report that the director gives to us as part of the contract, but I'll keep you posted as we go through the agenda. So that being said, I guess I'll ask then Jack, if you would like to coordinate the um, public comment receipt, we'd appreciate it. Perfect, thank you, Chairperson Carney. Um, so just anyone who is called on, if you could just please state your full name and where you live so that we can um, notate that in the minutes. Uh, Mr. Edwards, I'm going to have you unmute first since you have a group there and you guys are first on my list. Just ask everyone to please state their full name. Um, I know you guys are at Salvo. Hi, 
Okay, thank you very much. My name is David Edwards, Community Health Worker, Vice President of the LTO of the Walter Sauer House. I just wanted to say we we're looking forward to working with the board and the executive director on the agenda of, let me see, health, safety, and quality of life for the people at the Walter Savo House. And I have some residents. Right. You need to get a little closer to your device. Uh, there is... Okay. <laughs> Hi, my name is John White, Salva House. Mr. White, you guys are going in and out a lot. I don't know if someone else has. Last month, I brought. So, Jack, maybe we could come back to um, the Salvo group of people. It seems like they're having some kind of connectivity issue uh, because they're coming in and out. So uh, is there anyone else? Uh, maybe they can resolve that um, while we take comments from others. Absolutely. So the next person on my list is um, labeled as G. Nabad. Um, yes, hello, my name is Gwen Nabod, and I just wanted to announce that there is um, on March 1st at Hampshire Heights, um, Valley Community Development is going to be having, um, this is for residents at Hampshire Heights specifically, um, we're going to have pizza and um, community valid, Valley Community Development is looking for input on some of their um, new affordable housing and low-income housing that they're building. And so they just wanted to get some input from residents who live in public housing. Thank you. And that's March 1st at uh, five o'clock to six o'clock at the community room at Hampshire Heights. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Nabod. Thank you. The next person on my list is identified as KC. Um, hello. Mary Margaret Kathleen Chapman is my name at McDonald. And I'm just going to say the usual. I think Wi Fi for all is pretty important. And it did go down today here at McDonald. And that's why everybody's had trouble, I think, signing in. Also, on the notices, they're not accessible to all. If you've got bad vision, you can't read the doggone things. And maybe you could put on the notices that you stick up or check the city site. That's, you know, not much to add or make it larger print, I, you know, up to you. I'm just saying accessibility is a big deal. And uh, the notices aren't Spanish. And I'm curious why. There's a lot of Hispanic people on NHA properties. So I think it's pretty important that the notices be in Spanish as well. Um, I still think the people mess. Some people say it bothers them. But for those of us who it bothers, it's it's a bit burdensome. The, um uh, yeah i'm uh, you know y'all are talking about embracing people and being inclusive so i was kind of disappointed to not see a brown person on your elected to those major roles it seems like it served you very well to have a brown person there that's all so i guess that's about it y'all please think about making this accessible to others it's really difficult to get in here thanks Thanks, Ms. Chapman. Thank you. The next person on my screen is Y. Castillo. You're muted. Yes, sir, you're still muted. Can you hear me now? Yes. yes. Okay, hi, my name is Cecilia Castillo. Um, I'm here for to today thank uh, the NHA staff, especially the Jack and the director Leifer for the accommodation I got for moving for because I've been dealing with a lot of harassment, bullying in Savo House. So I appreciate to they saw my problem as soon as possible because the harassment and the bullying is being 
happening in the Savo house is unbelievable. The constantly harassment, people watch at your door to see who's coming to your apartment or not, watching what you're doing, asking you who's coming or who doesn't is unbelievable. And the funny thing is, it's even people on the board who's doing it too. So you guys who like see who you got in your board and they should stand by the example and don't allow that conduct. So that's all. Thank you. Have a good night. Well, thank you, Ms. Castillo. Uh, Mr. Edwards, you guys are back. Um, it might be helpful if you um, possibly turned off the video. I don't know if you still have a better connection, but we'll try again. Just have everyone give us their full name, okay? All right. Thank you. That sounds much better. You will four twenty Selva House. Is that Mr. Wida? Mr. Wida, were you speaking? Are you with? Yes, we hear you now. Okay, for the, uh, the our monthly uh, magazine that we get for the last six months. We have the same sticking regulations required, but it doesn't say when you have time, stop by at the downstairs and uh, register it. They, they should have a date on here. And they should have it for, uh, they should also have signs out here for tenants parking. We have a lot of problems with uh, tenants parking. And uh, I don't know, it, it, you start something and it, you don't see it all the way through this time because they don't want it. You guys don't want to change it. You're going to have parking stickers, a parking regulation. Let's do the program all the way. Or I think that's it for people who want to talk. So I guess you can continue on with your. Uh, Mr. Mr. Chagnon, I think that might be you speaking at the moment. It's very, very hard to to hear you. Is there someone there? Okay, that I was just right? saying that everybody's all set. Nobody else would like to talk. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Chagnon. I appreciate it. Thank yep. you, everybody no at Salvo. Um, the the next person I have on my list that potentially could be a resident is identified as Tim. Um, Tim, you are, it looks like logged on a device that could unmute yourself if you'd like. Can you let us know if you're a member of the, of the public or a resident? Um, okay, and then um, uh, just one more before I go to you, Joella. Uh, and then there's a Lily, if you would like to unmute yourself and let us know if you're a resident or not. Um, oh, here. Um, oh, Tim, you are speaking. Did you say you are or not a resident? No comment, uh, Mr. Edmund. Thank you so much. Um, all right, um, Joella, I will go to you. Thank you. Um, as a resident, I do agree with what uh, someone said about the harassment and bullying. Believe me, I've been through it. I've been even to been the target of some racial uh, uh, hatred. And um, it's amazing that <laughs> some people get help and some people don't. So I think that should go across the board. And I don't think it should be uh, selective. Uh, I just want to also notice that you're right. When people do come in here, I've been part of the Nor uh, Northampton neighbors. There were people who come in and there were times that they were uh, watched. Uh, but there are some things about the neighborhood watch I wasn't too um, pleased as going and listen to people's doors. I never participated in that. But people do watch their neighborhood. So um, I'm not sorry not to say Northampton neighbors, Northampton watch. Um, but hopefully we have really good people who are running and being a part of the LTO who are doing that. Um, so kudos to them. Uh, I just want to say somebody else mentioned something about larger um, agenda notices. And I want to thank uh, here, the it's long. So I think that it's a little larger. And then I went over to this week, I went to McDonald's house and I saw it wasn't large. So 
Is it just one building because somebody said we need to have it large or is it all across the board? Because that is an issue. And actually that's an issue that can be reported to the attorney general's office, but just keep in there. There are some people who, uh, who eyesight aren't as good and some are getting not so good. Um, so I think it'd be great. I also have mentioned, and I think I've mentioned this maybe 10 times, so I'm hoping that it get addressed. I know that uh, one of the ways that people give notices here in this building is that you go around with people on their doors. And I think on one level, is if, if I was doing it, it'd be a good workout, I'd like that. But I said this last time, and I don't know, and it didn't get clear in the minutes, so I wanna make sure I clarify that, is that there are some people Uh, I'm in, I'm in a meeting. I, I can't help you. Uh, what happened? Sorry, Sorry guys. guys. I, don't I don't know, know what's going on. Um, you can you can hear me then? I guess. Yeah, Joel, I muted your laptop just so you know. Uh, can you hear me? Can you see me at least? We can yes. hear and see you. Oh my gosh! This is a resident calling here. See, this is another thing why I'm saying if we can have access to everyone so they don't have to call and come to my door to try to get into these meetings. People want to participate. There should be no obstacles. Um, okay. As I was saying, is that you come and you put notices there. And I think that, that I get that. But I, I, I would think that you would know if people are living in, you know, they have issues of depression and anxiety. And I wouldn't make a standard uh, notice that majority of people do even people in family housing, whatever, and out of respect, having and seeing footsteps at people's doors can be triggering for a lot of people. And so just recognize that um, people don't want things uh, underneath their door, seeing doorsteps. Um, and I guess I have to personalize it. I had someone break into my apartment, uh, my condo years ago. I'm still triggered by that. So I would like, if I have to say myself, is that you email these. You have all of our emails, especially when you're doing recertification. So email, email a copy. Some folks don't want that. You can make accommodations. And so do that. Right now, I know we have one uh, resident who is horrified and completely triggered by actually some improvements to the building. And on one level, you think, well, we want improvement. But on one level, you have to think this is the person who's being adversely affected by that. Where is the consideration? So let's think about that. Instead of thinking, well, let them tell me, why don't we think when we're making these policies, what for that person who has that, how can we accommodate that? So I think that that is something that we should think about. And um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm concerned, as I would say, about some of the stuff that's going on here. And I would like to just say, um, on one level, it's good that to have involvement from staff and board, but on one level it's getting concerned. And there's one last thing I want to say, and I'm sorry for the interruptions, is that I was at a uh, board meeting with the Ward 3 Neighborhood Association, and we had someone from our board or our staff came to support me. So uh, that's always good to see people being supportive in the community. But one thing someone said that sticks to me, and I think I'm going to say this and to people realize it, Person said to the community members, if it, we are here for the tenants. Without tenants, I wouldn't have a job. You wouldn't board members have a job. Uh, staff people, you wouldn't have a job. So with the tenants on that frontal cortex of your brain, I think that's a wonderful thing. And I think in all your decisions and all your budget and all your way in which you talk to people, uh, think about that. Because you, without tenants, you would have no job. I know it sounds kind of harsh, but when I heard it, it made sense because that is true. We're tenants focused. And how would you talk to them? Would you be dismissive? Would you say, well, you can walk over to the uh, uh, laundry room and then give somebody else a ride? I and mean, it just, it doesn't make sense. Let's be consistent. And let's remember tenants are our consumers and we should treat them with dignity and respect. Of course, it's in the bylaws, but people should do that. And again, like I'm saying, and I don't care who likes it or not, the board should be reflective of that. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Tarbuck. Uh, Commissioner Barney, it looks like all residents um, have had the opportunity to speak. And how about the staff in public? Uh, we will go on to okay. staff. Staff members have the ability to unmute themselves. We'll give 30 seconds just to see if anybody unmutes or raises their hand. Okay. And then there are some folks from the public. Um, so I'll just go through the list really quick. 
Um, Judy Okolsky is on. Would you like to make a, a comment this evening? I just know on all their hard work and effort to make life better for tenants. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Okolsky. Uh, and then Ben from Mass Union, you have the ability to unmute yourself if you'd like to make a comment. All right. Um, I'm just here as a reference if there's any questions or anything supporting um, the recognition of Walter Salvo House. Thank you, Mr. Echeverria. And then um, Tim, I know before when I called said there was no comment today. Uh, and then Lily, I just want to make sure you can unmute yourself. I believe you don't have. Um, okay, um, looks like we're all set, Chairperson Carney. Thank you, Jack. Um, and so the next item on our agenda is the executive director's report. And as I was telling the public uh, earlier, the executive director by their contract gives uh, um, a report on activities. We don't discuss those, but rather that's something that comes to us. We don't have the opportunity to <clears throat> deliberate or discuss on anything that isn't listed on the agenda. So there may be some things that come up in that report that have questions, either commissioners or other have questions, but we don't, we don't do that at this point. Instead, we ask people to email their questions. If they have a question about that, email those to the director and, um, if there's a, you know, if, if people need that information, they can certainly get that email address, you know, from your resident services quarter. It's right on uh, online. And um, point of I'm, information. I'm not going to take a point of information now. I'm going to turn it right now to the executive director. It's about the report. report. I'm sorry, I'm not I, have, take... I have a I'm point sorry. of order. Point of order. Yes. Yes, Commissioner. Yeah, I'm just um, wondering what what um cost has changed because in the past we we were able to um uh, comment or ask questions uh, okay. directly to the director about uh the report oh okay and that's a question for me so yeah unfortunately what has happened is we've tr we've treaded numerous times into open meeting law territory by having discussion about items and deliberation about items that came up in the executive director's report, but weren't themselves items that were on the agenda. It's not, uh, according to the uh, state's open meeting law uh, and <clears throat> uh, commission that, you know, the attorney general's office, we can't do that. We need to uh, only address and deliberate and talk about those specific um, items that are on the agenda. So for, you know, we got into trouble a couple of times doing that. And so if there are questions that people have, the director can answer your questions. Any, any commissioner here can reach out to the director for answers to their questions. And the same with members of the public. So um, that's, that's why we're just leaving it at that because what has happened is we've, you know, gone down that rabbit hole of talking about things that aren't on the agenda. So I'm going to now turn it. Does that answer your question, Commissioner Cancel? Um, yes and no, um, because that completely cuts off uh, the ability for uh, for us to um, talk and discuss uh, more in detail what happens in these report. And I think you, as the chair, you have the ability to, if people are veering off course. Uh, you can interrupt and and uh, and move on to the next you know topic or next point. Uh, but I think uh, taking this part out completely of our procedures uh, feels uh, doesn't feel right one because it's it seems to me like a policy and it's 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 a policy change and it's a policy that has not been voted on. And so that's what that's what feels a little weird to me. Thank you for the thank you for that clarification. And let me just explain. In fact, um, prior to my term as chair, it was not the practice. It was not the practice to address questions and to have discussion 
after the executive director's report. It never was until I instituted it last year, last February or March, or whenever I was elected chair. And, and so it was a recent change. And then unfortunately, it was something that didn't really help. It's not a policy change. It's not a longstanding policy. It was not a policy under the previous chair, neither under the chair before that or the chair before that. So this was something new. And it was, and I'm actually at this point, I don't see that there, I, certainly any commissioner who hears something in the director's report and needs to ask her may call. And also, if there's any commissioner who uh, takes issue with something in that report, then they may. However, I don't want to talk about all this right now, because even mm -hmm. now, I'm getting yeah. off of items that are on the agenda. Mm -hmm. I'm getting, uh, you asked for a, a point of information and clarification for why. Oh, I'm yes. going to just explain oh, that. And, I'm, and I know that, I know that Commissioner Tarbutton is raising a point of order, but first I'm going to turn to Attorney O'Connor, who has his hand raised on this matter. Clarification. I asked for point of information. He I understand that heart. you did, but I understand that you asked for point of information. I would just I'm going to turn first that. to I'm going to turn first to Attorney O'Connor, and then I'll get back to Commissioner Tarbuck. Uh, I would point out that we're doing exactly what you just hinted at. Yeah. We're having a discussion about something that is completely off the agenda. We should just move on to the executive director's report and move on. If this issue is something that, that commissioners want to discuss, put it on the agenda and discuss it. But for the time being, we're off the tracks here. Thank you so much for that clarification. And I think commissioners know that if they wanted to introduce a motion, such a motion like that, and then have deliberation over that matter, they may do so. They may ask me, you know, to put something like that on the agenda, and we'll be able to do that at another time. I'm not saying that this isn't something that, you know, could take some discussion, but it can't happen tonight. And if folks do want to put something like that on the agenda, then we can discuss it as a board. And if it's really a point of clarification, Commissioner Tarbutton, then yes. No, are you asking me? Because I just wanted to clarify for the record. I didn't ask for a point of order. I asked for a point of information. It was Commissioner Consell who said point of order. I just want you to get that straight. I don't want to be a tribute. And what to is your point of information? Well, my point of information is pretty much what he said. I was confused. When you made this decision, okay, we now I understand. talked about it yesterday. I, understand. I mean, I understand. last meeting. And so I like this, that we could talk about it. Uh, you, you're you even one who wanted to have- That's enough. That's enough. That's, That's enough. That's enough. But I'm just saying, I think that attor attorney is correct. Let's discuss this. If someone has a motion that they would like to uh, pass by me- That's enough. And then they have a second, then we can talk about that later, but we won't be discussing it tonight. Yeah. So uh, those that have concerns about this may talk to me about introducing something like that. And it may even be something that would be referred to the Governance and Policy Committee. I'm going to turn it back now, finally, to the Executive Director's Report. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, Executive Director's Monthly Summary for February of 2024. The GPR for the current month was $226,231.95. Uh, rent collected was $213,873.34, which was 95%. The delinquency um, as of this report was 133,020.78, uh, which is $7,000 down from the last meeting. Uh, we've been working diligently on trying to get people back on track to pay their rent. Um, public housing had no recertifications this month. Um, Section 8 had 70. Um, there were 65 of the 70 recertified, um, five outstanding, and we're, it's due to waiting on paperwork. The wait list, federal applications, one bedroom has 96, two bedroom has 34, three bedroom has 23, four bedroom has two, um, and section eight has 58. State applications, the family uh, pool is 19,381 and elderly disabled is 4,923. We had four move outs in public housing and four move outs in section eight. Um, public housing had 12 move ins and section eight had five. Public housing has uh, two units on notice to vacate. Uh, end of month vacant ready um, is one. Uh, end of month vacant unready is two for a total of three vacants, all of which are pre-leased. 
Um, the staff completed uh, 13 turnovers, nine of which were full rehabs. Uh, we took in 379 work orders beginning the month with 31 from last month, um, completing 352 work orders, um, leaving 58 uh, in process still. Uh, executive director follow-up, uh, there was a con uh, one concern or many, many thanks were received from uh, several residents regarding the opening of the laundry room at Salvo, didn't require a response. Uh, there was a, a thank you reminder about parking stickers in the newsletter and what about towing. Um, we are currently in the process of a search for a new local tow company based on resident feedback that the previous company was located too far away. We're waiting on uh, responses from several local companies. Um, there was a concern, uh, a Salvo resident brought up a concern about a delay in a walk-in shower. Uh, the manager met with the resident and the resident services coordinator, and I approved an alternative accommodation, uh, which was a tub cut, and it was completed January 30th. The uh, uh, pending LTO brought up, uh, tr quote, trouble with paperwork, um, that the ED and the attorney needed to get it together, and that the bed bugs were planted. Um, uh, I continue to communicate regularly with the potential LTO since state law drives the funding and the regulations regarding LTO formation. I did reach out to EOHLC, which is the state, to get clarification on some things that we have been discussing. The clarification is was on who recognizes the LTO, when the 90-day clock starts, and if a budget is needed from the LTO in order to be recognized. Further, although the regulation states LHA and I solely could recognize the LTO, as indicated previously, once I had all the required items, I was happy to bring the recognition before the board, which I will be doing tonight as recommended by NARO. Um, there was a concern by a resident at Salvo um, about security of the building. I met with the police department about resident concerns on safety and their report of high traffic in the building. Uh, there was a concern from a resident that uh, no, I'm sorry, there was a concern from a, someone in the public, um, a mother saying that her, the mother lived uh, with us and that they were concerned about bullying at Salvo. I reached out to the Stop Bullying Coalition and brainstormed ideas for over four hours with the head of that coalition. Um, updates and events, as I mentioned in last month's report, our team continues to work on the final request from auditors, which will wrap up this month. It was also year end for both of the authorities that we fee manage. Uh, the annual plan in recognizing that the board wanted more resident input in this area and more resident participation in the plan. Since we value resident engagement in this process, here, we, here are the ways that we've been doing that. We hosted meetings at all of our state properties regarding the state annual plan. We notified residents a month before the meetings in the newsletter, and an, inv an invitation was individually sent to every door a few days before the meetings, and the day of the meetings, a robocall went out. We had a great turnout overall with a total of 70 residents in attendance, five at Hampshire Heights, 10 at Cahill, 35 at Salvo, 11 at Tobin, and nine at Forsander. I will be reading any substantial comments received during these meetings at the public hearing, which was at our March 18th meeting. Um, annual report. Although the annual report is usually done in, in, and distributed in the same as the annual meeting, this year, based upon uh, the additional outreach requested by the board, we needed more time to prepare it. Once the state and federal plans are completed, I will distribute the annual report. So ends the executive director report. Back to you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Director Leeper. Yes. And uh, just remind um, commissioners, if you have some questions about the director's report, please address them directly to Director Leeper. And I will go to the next item of business, which is the approval of the January meet, minute, meeting minutes. First, I'll ask, is there a motion to approve? Um, uh, motion to approve. Okay, moved to approve by Commissioner Brooks. Is there a second? Second. Okay, and seconded by Commissioner Richards. Are there any additions, corrections, or deletions? I have. Yes, please, Commissioner Tarbutton. Um, first of all, I noticed something differently on these meetings, and I'd like to ask about it. Um, I waited to this point. Used to be on these meetings, 
uh, you put the resident name down, and now I see it's been on these meetings put down as Savo resident. So I was uh, curious why that changed because I agree that we shouldn't have be using a uh, resident's name, and I I mentioned that because it was mentioned. Uh, but uh, so it's either yay or nay. What are we doing? And then there are some things that uh, that I wrote from last meeting that I asked about that weren't changed and some things that were attributed to a resident that I think are it's inconsistent and are done in error. So is there an addition correction or deletion that you'd like to make? Yeah, yeah. where is the one that says, uh, oh, 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 okay, I'm sorry. I guess I was waiting for the corrections from the December meeting and I, I, I never got that. You know, when I said greetings from Texas, and I read something, and uh, I think in the last meeting, I think it was. Uh... Yes. So, we, anyway, so we, I, I we never got those, that. Correct those we, corrections. We, never... Just to answer your question, those corrections were made at the last meeting. Yours, among a few other, a couple of other corrections that we made. Correct. Director Lipa, we made those corrections in the minutes from the. At last, at the last meeting, there were a number of corrections, those offered by Commissioner Tarbutton and those offered by uh, Commissioner Kensal. And yes, those were made, those... were made and uh, you approved the, the minutes based on, uh, you know, with the corrections made. And so I went back and I listened to the audio and I uh, uh, put um, all the corrections in and it was posted on, on our website um, as soon as it was done. So the corrected the corrected minutes now are posted on the website. Yes, they've been there. Okay. Yeah. Have you looked on the website for the corrected minutes? Uh, no, I thought I was going to get it as part of my package, but no, I I I did. I voted no because I wanted to see what the corrections were. Because you know, I think the last I remember is you saying, "Well, why don't you write back and tell her what she what to do?" And then I said, "When I asked about a question, you say go look at the tape." So I just wanted to see that. It's, it's possibly yeah. work, but uh, well, I just we don't we don't distribute the um the previous previous meeting minutes. I, I get that the board package, but they are on the website now, corrected as as we voted on them at the last minute. Well, I haven't <laughs> okay, I haven't seen that, but I'll I'll take it and I'll go look at that. But uh, and then secondly, on this one, can you tell me why we are now just putting the resident? And are we not putting them on, uh, we have them on the attendance, but are we not putting particular comments to particular residents? Is that, can you tell me why? Like we have before? I don't know. Director, director would you like me to uh, address that? Director uh, Leeper, yes, please. Thank you. Anyone, lawyer, you, anyone, please. Uh, so, so at the recent NARO training, we learned that we should be saying, resident, re, you know, we can say also present because the people were present, but to actually use their name in the description of the comment was um, advised against by Naro, Mass Naro. Okay, because I remember Maybe. him saying that, oh, sorry. You were at that training, so it was- Well, I was, but I remember a year ago he said that, because when he looked at the minutes, he was like, ay, yeah, 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 yeah. But we still did it for almost a year. So, and at the Mr. Last Tarbutton, time, are you ask, are you asking really? Are you asking why we're doing it now? Or no, I just it's it just like I, it's just this is a thing. I look at something and it's different. Is it a question? Like, are you making an opinion now or a question? No, I'm telling you that it's different now, and it doesn't say anywhere here because of our recent training. Because not everybody attended that training, so we're just getting stuff now that's a little different before. And so when I'm asking for clarification, because he said that a year ago. Okay. As I understand what, direct, what Director Leeper just said was that <clears throat> the reason that we're doing this is at the advice of NARO. And I think what you're saying is you're not accepting the answer to that question, but you want to know why is it, why did it take us so long? No, 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 please let me clarify. Okay. No, I'm just saying why now? And there was no notice that we're doing this now because a year ago, oh, all of us had a meeting on a Saturday. And the lawyer came for lunch. We had that meeting and we talked about that. And so, but it continued. We had that meeting last month where uh, it, we, we still did it. So we had that meeting now. So now without any notice is being, because uh, when I read it, I thought, why is that? When I first read it, I go, why are we, why are we not putting that there? There was no notice. 
and I am looking at my emails and I saw no notice as to what's going on and I see this being presented there. So all I'm asking for is clarification and I wanna make sure you hear what I'm saying as my grandmother would say and not what you think you hear because that's not what I'm saying. I heard him say that a year ago. So why are we doing it now? Good, but I raised objections within okay, that. Let, let me see if I understand your question then. Your question is, why are we doing it now? And I think I recall seeing it in the last couple of, of um, monthly meetings. I think it started probably for the October or November. Maybe I'm wrong. But um, I think your question is, why now? Why now? I, 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 am I correct? Is that what you're asking? No, I'm saying where was the notification that we're doing this? And I oh, remember, okay, okay. No, and I remember that, specifically saying to this once when I heard a resident's name, I brought that up and said, I, "Do I need to go to the attorney general with that?" So that's why I'm asking, what is going on? Did y'all have a was there a meeting beforehand and it was discussed? Because you can't say I'm not reading my emails that I'm getting. I read it and I didn't see it there. Okay, no, it wasn't a meeting that I was in attendance to. I saw it and didn't really um, consider it something that I, you know, it seemed to make sense and it did jibe with the training that I heard. However, I'm not going to, I think that you asked um, why we're doing it and that part was made clear that we're doing it based on the advice from NARO. And I think you're wanting to ask a follow up, which is, we got advice from NARO a year ago. We didn't do it then. And what happened and why? So I think you're asking about a thinking process. I'm not sure that that's something. Are you satisfied uh, now? With Commissioner, the I would draw the question, please. I'm sorry. I'll okay. Withdraw. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any other additions, corrections, or deletions for the um, meeting? No, I, still have, I still have a question. That was a general Oh, oh okay. I'm sorry. Okay, it doesn't say my, it doesn't say a name. So I, a uh, Savo resident, uh, thank you for the large print. Uh, it says, uh, it, it, it's, it's just so much here. It's like when I asked to bring stuff to tape to the doors, I did. And I said, when you put notices on residents' doors, uh, please realize that people have anxiety and this could be triggering to some. Uh, and then there were some things you put in there that I didn't. I said, if you because you have the email addresses to to residents, why don't you use that as an option? Um, and then there was another thing, uh, the newsletter. Yeah, it's great. And um, I said I was erroneously attributed to saying that bed bugs have been er eradicated. I just said that they were coming to recheck my place. And so we got the, everything open, but on one level, it hadn't been rechecked. And I know there's one other person who hasn't had his bed bugs checked. So I just wanted to make sure that that was um, clear. And um, and I just think that it was very harmful for, uh, but regarding six years ago, the when uh, Fort Santa had a bed bug situation, you had an education from that same uh, exterminator service for tenants. And it never happened here. And I wonder if it's happened for any of the other residents that that would be. Okay, Great. we're not taking questions now, but is there a correction? That, 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 that was here. I just put that as the correction. Okay. Me, Can you yeah. send that correction then? Is that yes, Director Lieber? It, it would be really um, helpful if I know the page number that... Um, you, you don't have pages. If there's a correction to the minutes, I need to know the page and paragraph. So there's a total of uh, five pages. Is okay, it's so on the second page. page? The second page, and could you tell me the paragraph so that I can, and what yeah. specifically you're asking to be changed? Uh, yeah, let me see. One, two, the third resident. Uh, and if you get, you know, you have a uh, CC, a uh, closed caption, you can hear all of this, and it's in words, what I'm saying. So, um, but the the minutes are not supposed to be verbatim to the word. I know that, that but I'm just saying. A summary. So could you just tell me specifically the words you need changed? You've told me where it says Salvo resident regarding parking the third time, which says where I see it says the third one is regarding parking stickers. No, that's Please. the fourth one. The third one would be thank you for the large uh, print agenda. Okay, I think that the I think that the uh, it's actually the top of page three. Just that the page, page. It doesn't have a down. number. Yeah, there's yeah, not no, a number. I know. I, I know it doesn't have a number. Part. Where it okay. says Salvo resident, I'm sorry. It's actually on. It is on page two. 
I think the police are well advised. Is this the is this the is this the comment? No. Commissioner Tarbutton? No. Okay. Uh Commissioner Commissioner Tarbutton, is it the comment that says over a year ago? Nope. It's uh which resident which comment? In the tenant Thank comment. You. Thank you, Laura's yes, print agenda. I think I found it. There you go. Thank you, Laura's <laughs> agenda. Um, can you tell can me? To, can you tell me, Kara, please? Sure. It's um, if you look at the underlying underscored tenant comment, it's yes. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's the tenth line. It two, starts Salville resident. Three. Thank you for the large print agenda. Okay. Thank. Okay. Uh, go union. Public comment. Thanks for the large print agenda. I don't see that one. Unless it's, you're, you're looking at a public. It's tenant comment. I see it. Yes. Okay. So uh, how would you like to change? So do you have an understanding, Director Leeper, what Commissioner Tarbutton would like corrected about her comment? Well, uh, it's it's it says Salvo resident. It doesn't say that it was her comment. I know, um, but she's telling us now that this is her okay. comment. and she thinks Okay, so I just corrected. need to know. I do not know what she needs changed. Um, it's kind of been all over the place. So I just need. I would like to actually moment. ask for a moment, please. Is it possible that we could um, take this item and just skip it for now, go on to the next item? And in the meantime, if um, Commissioner Tarbutton, if you could take that paragraph and then just take it and correct it as to what, what you see needs to be corrected, and then we can come back to this item with your correction. Can we well, do that? Well, I do that, and I can't pay attention to the rest of the stuff that's going on. I just already said this, and I just thought- oh, okay, okay. How about if we do this? Can, I'm going to ask, please. Is it okay if we table the this until the next meeting, and then there'll be a month to be able to look at this paragraph, and you can offer the correction then? Would that Would that suffice? Yeah, I would still like for the recording secretary to look at the information that we have from the tapes and use close count, close caption. It's not exactly to say that. I will make the corrections. Uh, I thought this was the place to do it because uh, you can record and, and and see what's being said. But yeah, I think that to give time to this, I will. Uh, okay. And, and, and if I can get recording secretary credits for that, I'll be more than happy, but I'll do it, of course. I'll ask. Well, again, it'll have to be, you know, we'll have to look at that and we'll have to compare it, what, what you write down and compare it to the recording and all of that. So I'll ask, please, if there is a motion to continue this uh, approval of these minutes till the next regular meeting. So I'm sorry, um, Madam Chair, you have a, um, a motion right now on the table to approve the minutes. Made yes, by, but when uh, there's a motion on the table, we can yep. still make a motion while it's on the table to continue. Okay, okay. And so I'm asking for that. Motion to table. No, I'm asking for someone to please make a motion to continue. Okay, I'll make a motion that this be tabled to the next meeting to allow for uh, commissioner slash tenant to clarify comments that are written that uh, that is not exactly what was said. Is there a second? Is there a second? Second. Okay, moved and seconded. And so now we'll just ask uh, for a roll call. Yes, um, this is a motion to table the approval of the January 2024 minutes. Chairperson Carney. Yes. Uh, Vice Chairperson Richards. Yes. Uh, Commissioner Jones. Yes. Uh, Commissioner Brooks. I wasn't here. Abstain. I was not at, yeah, I was not at that meeting. You can, you can and, still vote whether to continue this or not, but it's so okay. I'll, if you I'll abstain. abstain. I'll abstain. Abstain is fine. Okay. Uh, Commissioner Tarbutton Springfield. Yes. Thank you. And commi uh, Commissioner Kensell. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Um, thanks, everybody. So that's moved on to for us to uh, uh, hear the uh, approve these minutes at the next meeting. And the next item on the agenda brings us up to the new business of, <clears throat> excuse me, the certificate of substantial and final completion 
of the boil and water heater replacement at Cahill Apartments. So before we have a uh, discussion about this, I'll first ask, is there a motion to approve? Motion, motion to approve. approve. <laughs> second. Okay. I heard a motion and a second. Okay. So, uh, Director Leeper, would you like to update us here on yes. this? Yes, um, thank you, Madam Chair. This is the motion um, to for the certificate of substantial and final completion for FISH 214123, which is the boiler and water heater replacement at Cahill Apartments. And we move that the Board of Commissioner approves the substantial completion and final completion with regards to the Cahill bo uh, boiler and hot water replacement, which is FISH number 214123. The work was completed by Performance Plumbing and Heating Incorporated. Therefore, by voting for this motion, you hereby authorize the executive director to take all actions necessary and proper to execute the said certificate of substantial completion and final completion, which have already been signed off on by EOHLC and the engineer. I'm bringing this as a combined motion so that we do not have to have a special meeting in March as we are days away from the punch list being completed and EOHLC requires a board to vote for payment. Waiting for March 18th meeting would mean that the contractor would not get paid until April. Okay, and now I'll open it to discussion, commissioners, or questions for the director regarding this. Um, I have a question. <laughs> I heard you mention this in the annual plan meeting. Is this the same thing you're talking about? Was going over in Cahill? Because uh, the, the boilers and hot water heaters have already been replaced. This is already a job that was done through a fish number with the state. So although it's on the annual plan, it's already happened. Um, and that's what you heard me say at the um, annual plan meeting. Okay. Uh, seeing no other questions or discussions, I'll then ask the director to call the roll, please. Yes, uh, motion on certificate of substantial and final completion for FISH 214123, uh, boiler and water heater replacement at Cahill Apartments. Chairperson Carney. Yes. Thank you, Vice Chairperson Richards. I get muted. Sorry, Please. yes. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner Jones. Yes. Thank you, Commissioner Cancel. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner Tarbutton Springfield. Yes. Commissioner Brooks. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. That 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 motion that motion carries. And then the next item of business is a positive recommendation from the executive director to recognize the Walter Salvo tenant uh, organization. Um, so I'll, I'll go ahead and let the uh, director explain this, and then I'll ask for a motion. Director Lieber? Yeah. Yes, thank you, um, Madam Chair. Um, I'm bringing before you a positive recommendation for recognition of the Walter Salvo Tenant Organization. I, Kara Leeper, the executive of the Northampton Housing, uh, director of the Northampton Housing Authority, hereby ask the Board of Commissioners for the formal recognition of the Walter Salvo Tenant Organization as a duly con uh, constituted entity within our housing community. The Walter Salvo Tenant Organization has consistently demonstrated its commitment to the betterment of our housing community by actively engaging in initiatives aimed at improving the quality of life for residents. This organization has facilitated meaningful dialogue between tenants and management, advocated for essential community resources, and worked tires tirelessly to foster a sense of unity and belonging among residents. In light of their significant contributions, I propose that the Walter Salvo Tenant Organization be formally organized by our Board of Commissioners as an essential partner in this ongoing effort to enhance the well being and cohesion of our housing community. This recognition will not only validate the hard work and dedication of its members, but also strengthen our collaborative uh, resolve to create a vibrant and inclusive environment for all residents. I urge the Board of Commissioners to consider this recommendation favorably and extend the appropriate support and recognition to the Walter Salvo Tenant Organization. Thank you for the, your attention in this matter. Thank you, Director Lieber. Then may I have a motion, please, from the floor to approve? 
I'll make that motion. I do have a question. Uh, we'll get to the discussion after. So okay. moved and moved by uh, Commissioner Tarbutton, seconded Commissioner Cancel to approve, uh, to accept the recommendation of the executive director to approve the Walter Salvo uh, Tenant Association. And now I'll open it up to questions. And I heard Commissioner Tarbutton. Um, can I defer and let uh, Commissioner Cancel go? Uh, yes, you may. Notes. Commissioner Cancel? Uh, yeah, um, this is this is really exciting stuff for me. Um, I uh, first of all just want to congratulate the uh, Walter Salvo uh, LTO because, as Director Leeper uh, mentioned, they have been doing a lot of work uh, to really, uh, you know, make this a, a team effort um, and work with the housing authority to improve uh, conditions at Walter Salvo House. We all know. All of the challenges that Walter Salvo House has uh, has encountered in in the last several years, um, and um, I am very very proud of this group uh, for um, what they're doing, and I'm really really excited uh, uh, for us to um, and for them to be working uh, with with the staff uh, to continue to improve things. I'm I've been I grew up in public housing here in Northampton, um, and um, this is also um uh something new uh, i have never ever seen uh the board formally recognize the um uh attendant association in this matter in this manner and so um i'm also proud of ourselves i'm proud of the board i'm proud of uh our staff for all their hard work and i look forward to uh working uh in collaboration with the uh uh walter uh Savo lto uh, thank you and congratulations to y'all. Thank you, Commissioner Cancel. Commissioner Tarbutton. Yeah, uh, I I also I I'm not sure if I can vote on it, even though you know my heart is in for it. So if I have to with, uh, abstain from this, it's just because I live at Walter Savo House. So, but my question is, I think that in echoing on what Commissioner um, Cancel said, I've been here a decade. And I've never seen this happen before. And I remember being at the Mass Union of Public Housing Tenants Convention and the, uh, what's her name, Devine, Christine Devine with the uh, formerly DHCD saying, uh, executive directors are encouraged to uh, have students, I mean students, uh, residents form an LTO. So you don't have a million things going on. You have one group of people who are representing their, their fellow tenants. And I think, <laughs> I spoke afterwards, I say, can we put a little stronger words like incentivize, reward, because it's uh, it's something that needs to happen. And I think that, you know, we even have a labor appointee on the board that it's important to get people's um, residents, their voices heard. And I think that the, the group of people who are there are a fine group of people. I don't get to talk to them as much as I'd like, but I see them working tirelessly in their efforts to bring on community and uh, to really represent the LTO very well. So I, I want to applaud people for that. My question, I guess, is that why did we have to have the ED recommend that? Like, I would like to see ED less and more of them not, not to be involved in what's going on, just like I don't want people being involved with what's going on with this board. I'd like for it to be independent and consult. Um, but I think this is really great. I'm just also asking, when will they get the operation funds that they need? Because it's been many years that I don't think, I don't even know what happened with money that would be delegated. Uh, so I'm happy to see them being fully for uh, functioning. I think that the tide is with us from the community, uh, from legislators, from all that, that this is something that needs to be done. And I think that as uh, they did from the Chelsea Housing Authority, they said, we need to get more representatives from residents. We need to hear residents. So kudos. Thank you, Commissioner Todd Button. Before I turn to Director Lieber, I also want to ask maybe uh, Attorney O'Connor just a clarifying question. So, um, so just the point that uh, Commissioner Tarbutton brought up about uh, uh, being a resident of Salvo, that in no way would uh, disqualify this commissioner from voting on this tenant association that I would see, and in fact, it would behoove the association to have the resident commissioner from Talvo, Salvo to be able to vote on this. Is that correct? Uh, I, although I don't necessarily disagree with what you're saying, there's a, a notice to this point exactly. She needs to abstain from voting 
on this. And I can't believe, I don't remember who made the motion, but if she made the motion, it probably should be made and seconded by someone other than Commissioner Tarbutt in Springfield. I know she's eager to participate in it, but um, there is a notice that is directly on point to this exact issue. I see. Oh, thank you for that clarification. Uh, I'd, li I'd like to ask then for the record, just could, could we just have a, um, you know, a different uh, maker? Can we make that motion again or what can we I do? Withdraw it. That? Okay. So, so um, Commissioner Tarbutton had made the motion and she's now withdrawn it. So that means the second two. So now I'll ask just so that we can go on with, with other people's questions about this. So uh, uh, is there someone else who would make that motion? Yeah, I'd like to make a motion to approve. Yes, thank you, Commissioner Cancel. Is there a second? Second. And seconded by Commissioner Jones. Thank you and thanks for that clarification, Attorney O'Connor. And then I'll turn it, uh, uh, Director Lieber, did you have something there or are you all set? Um, I, I was asking whether she could make the motion. Um, that's why I have oh, okay. Raised, okay, thank you. And I didn't know if you wanted me to address uh, the questions or not. Oh, the questions, the questions. Uh, Commissioner Tarbutton wanted to know um, why it was brought this way and why I was involved and also when they were going to be funded. Would you like to, would you like to address those? Sure. Um, although I have the um, sole authority to recognize a tenants association, um, according to EOHLC, um, this particular association asked for um, the board to recognize them. Um, and that's what delayed the process um, because we had to wait until the next board meeting. First, the, the state requires that we have a budget um, and everything in 760 CMR 609 be presented in order for recognition to occur. Um, and so um, uh, I was trying to gather that information and it was, we, we kept hitting some stumbling blocks and then EOHLC clarified it, but because they had already kind of gone to, um, you know, the, the chairperson, um, it was, uh, I just put it, figured it's better to do a positive recommendation and put it before the board. Um, rather than just going ahead and recognizing them. And they will be funded, um, if if this uh, passes, uh, they will be funded shortly thereafter. Thank you, Director Leeper. Uh, it looks like Commissioner Tarbutton has another question. It's a clarification, because I was in that meeting, I think you were there too, uh, with uh, Jeff Driscoll. And um, I just wasn't sure because I one person said that I'm the one that recognizes that I'm the LHA. And it's like, no, that's the board. We're also the LHA. So I'm not quite sure I heard what you heard in that. Regardless of all that, I'm just happy that it is uh, being presented to the board. And I um, I think it's a wonderful thing. So, and I'm the one who said that I would abstain because of that, because I don't want any problems coming up. So I abstain myself, not because I'm not with them, it's because I don't want any of this stuff going on and people saying this and it somehow deter them. I know what my heart is, so. Thank you, Commissioner Tarbutton. Yes, please, Commissioner Jones. Yeah, I just think um, historically for the record, I mean, we did have a tenants organization at Salvo before, which seems to have, um, my recollection is disintegrated into infighting between the participants is, a, is one version of it. Um, we did have groups at uh, Four Sander and Cahill, and there was a group at McDonald House that I don't know that it was an official group, but it acted as if it were a tenants um, organization giving input at the monthly meetings. And I'm glad to see this happen. And I, I wish every um, facility that we take care of would form their own tenants organization and we go from there. Thank you, Commissioner Jones. Uh, Commissioner Cancel, please. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to uh, uh, um, suggest that um, we do it this way moving forward. I have noticed that we're doing uh, some things um, differently lately and uh, I think we're moving in the right direction doing things the proper way. Uh, the training that I, I attended as well as you all did uh, on the board, um, it was explained that the LHA 
uh, is the local housing authority is the uh, entity that um, uh, can recognize, formally recognize LTOs. Now, if at some point that task was delegated to the executive director, that was that's different. Um, but moving forward, I like this process a lot better. Thank you, Commissioner Cancel. And I can just uh, clarify too that uh, it's always been, it, in my experience, and that goes back to the prior director before Director Leeper, um, with any uh, tenant, asso tenant association, it was actually the executive director. However, I'm perfect. I'm fine, and, and I I appreciate that this came to us with a recommendation from the executive director because essentially the tenant association will primarily be working on on tenant issues with the director. So it is really important that all that work happen. It's fine for the board to also um, uh, be involved in terms of putting our imprimatur on this with an approval. However, we don't want we don't want to uh, certainly exclude the executive director. And in this case here, I think it was a case that people were anxious for it to happen. It could have happened sooner, but it did have to wait to come to the board because that was what folks wanted folks wanted it to have board approval and it would have had to it had to come to a regular board meeting so um that being said before i go back to commissioner tarbutton i'd like to ask commissioner brooks commissioner richards do you have any comments or some questions at all about the newly uh, formed walter tenants walter salvo tenant association commissioner richards Yes. No, I, I, I think I that, saw you. Think oh, Commissioner Brooks, that, please. Commissioner Brooks, please. I think that I think that, that it's great that Salvo um, Tenants Organization is recognized uh, by the director. The, the previous um, uh, local tenants Salvo organization did dissolve to some degree in uh, backbiting and. From what I understood from people who lived there, that um, you know there were two various factions who were who were, who were doing the backbiting, and so um, to see it go forward and be recognized as a new entity is important. Um, and I just want people to know that McDonald House has always had a a tenant organization, but in the last eight or nine years, it sort of dissolved. But we are on the way back. We had our first meeting this past week, and we will continue um, to explore um, uh, a tenant organization here at McDonald House. Great news, Commissioner Brooks. Thank you. And then Commissioner Richards, and then I'll get back to Director Leeper, and then I'll get back to Commissioner Tarbin. Thank you. Uh, yes, I just wanted to say how delighted I am, and uh, this is something that we've wanted to see happen for a long time, more tenant associations. So I'm delighted and we'll be voting uh, to approve this. Thank you, Commissioner Richards. And once again, please, Commissioner Tarbon. Once again, well, I, yes, just wanted to, I just wanted to clarify that there is a difference between a tenants association and a tenants organization. And I think they're kind of muddled. And I think that being a part, being an LTO, that would stop, and with the uh, that would stop some of the infighting because it, it it did get to be problematic at one time. That uh, I did think residents said we're better off, and that's kind of sad, you know. But I think that they're uh, they they do offer training, they do offer you know workshops, they do offer a lot of stuff. I think that will be helpful, um, and I think uh, I it should this should be the norm. It shouldn't be. You know, it should be acceptable, the exception, not the exception. You know, I think this should be the norm. And it's finally, I think it was Commissioner either Jones or Carney said that, uh, uh, or Cancel said that we're getting this, this getting done and letting residents speak uh, uh, about residents issues to be a part of the process. I think that, that really is a good thing. Thank you, Commissioner Todd Button. Yes, and I did get a text oh, from I'm somebody. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you weren't finished. Yeah, I did get a text. I, I'll, I guess I could say that someone from Mass Union said uh, 
your law is wrong. Uh, you have a right to vote. But I'm going to, again, exclude myself from this because I don't want any problems with it. So I also would encourage if we could get our commissioners, I mean, and our staff to look at some of the rules too. There's Mass Union of Public Housing Tenants Organization. If we could look at that too, that, that would be a little clarifying. And um, I think we are, we're kind of really, Western Mass is really trying to be recognized. And uh, I know we have one LTO uh, already with four Sander, but the rest of my understanding are tennis association. And I think there's a difference and that's something we can ask for more clarification what the difference is. Thank you, Commissioner Tarbutton. Director Leeper. Uh, yes, I just wanted to let the board know um, we have McDonald House has a recognized tennis association. They did become defunct due to some passing away of, of uh, members, but I've been working as asked over the last year to um, help them get back up and going. Uh, they are an LTO. Um, Hampshire Heights, um, I've been working with them to get um, their LTO up and going. Um, for Sander has one. I've spoken with Cahill about having one. Um, Tobin has a recognized LTO, but um, it, you know, the, the, uh, officers passed away and they haven't had a lot of interest, although I haven't given it up. I'm still working on it. Um, and um, Florence Heights, actually, um, I've already spoken to some residents over there as well. Um, and we're going to get a tenants association up and going. Uh, the confusion with this one is that Mass Union had advised uh, the tenants association that they didn't need to provide a budget in order to be recognized and, you know, that it was fine to go to the chair um, and and really what DHCD because I you know since I have to answer to them um, I I emailed them with the specific questions on when the time clock starts does a budget need to be submitted and and you know the bylaws etc and they responded in the affirmative and so um, so that's what kind of took some time although there were a lot of gossips happening where. They were saying I didn't want to recognize them. And, and somebody even said, you know, that they tried to get me to do it and I wouldn't. Um, that was not factual. Um, it was simply, you know, getting the proper information um, in order to follow the 760 CMR, which I now have. And I'm happy to say that um, I am ready to recognize them and hope that the board gives that. Thank you, Director Lieber. And it does beg the question then for us as commissioners of whether we want to, or probably our governance and policy committee, whether we do want to uh, in our own bylaws, and I'm, I'm not sure that we can require, uh, I think what we're hearing is that the, the state does say that the executive director um, may, um, may approve a tenant associ association. And so, we need to get clarification if this board is interested in putting our own stamp onto the uh, approval of a tenant association, whether we uh, actually institute that as a policy and require all tenant, tenant organizations, LTOs, to go not only through the director, not only through the director, because they will need to go at some point through the director in order to submit all the budgets and everything else, not only through the director, but also through the board. And that would be something we could ask, we could consider sending to the governance and policy committee to consider and then making that a policy that we require all tenant organizations, local tenant organizations to um, <clears throat> seek approval, not only through the executive director, but also through the board of directors. And so that's for the future. And I don't see any other commissioners seeking to make a comment or, or a question. So I'm Can going to add a question. Oh, another question. Yes. No, I said, no, she's in call. The question. Oh, I'm sorry. She called the question. Then Director Lieber, would you yes. call please? Yes, this is a motion of uh, positive recommendation from the executive director for, to recognize the Walter Salvo Tenant Association. Uh, Chairperson Carney. Yes. Thank you. Vice Chairperson Richards. Yes. Thank you. Commissioner Jones. Yes. Thank you. Commissioner Brooks. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner Tarbutton Springfield. I'll abstain, but yes. Thank you. Commissioner Kensell. 
Yes. Thank you. Uh, Madam Chair, with um, five yeas and one abstention, passes. Thanks. Then that motion carries. Congratulations to the Walter Salvo House uh, Local Tenant Organization. We look forward to hearing from you and to working with you and to all of the other tenant organizations across the Northampton housing properties. It's, it's really great uh, I, it, that we're making some real progress in this area. So that being said, I, I, I think it's the end of our agenda and we may have to, I may have to ask for a final motion. Motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. Moved and seconded to adjourn, and that is non-debatable. So I'm going to ask the director okay, to call the roll. Um, residents, we just like to quickly say thank you for uh, to all of y'all for recognizing us as an organization. We are just move the show on your board meetings. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Edwards and Mr. Chagnon and Ms. Cardinal and all of the officers of the association, the organization, and we appreciate all the work that you've done for this, really. But we do have a motion on the floor to adjourn, and it's non-debatable, so I'll ask the director to call. Uh, so your adjournment is at 725. And I'll say uh, I. Are all those in favor, at least, please raise your hand because we, okay, raise your hand. Okay, so we are adjourned now at 7.